Hello friends. Who wants to draw a Valentine llama? <clears throat> this is Miss Amanda, also known as Miss Harris. I am losing my voice, but I know we can do this and have some fun. So I want everybody to find a dot in the middle and let's draw our llama. So the first thing we're gonna do is draw its nose. It's gonna kind of go like this. It kind of looks like a heart, but it's not a heart, okay? And then the sides usually aren't really even. And then we're going to draw a line like this and like this. And then it's gonna go over it like this. It's supposed to be a little bigger and then you're gonna go around and then right here, you're gonna go like this. There is some dots in the middle and you can go ahead and put the dots in there. Now, the next thing we are gonna go ahead and make the outside of it. So we're going to draw its head and its ears. Okay. Llamas are really straight, so we're just gonna draw it down like this. Draw its ears. As you can tell, I'm just kind of sketching. I come in and then come down like this, okay? We're gonna give it um, a little bit of an extra ear right here because it's detail, okay? And then we're gonna come in like this. So now we're gonna draw his eyes. Draw them kind of big. Give it some eyelashes. And then draw a big circle right here and then all the rest is colored in black. I made that a little dark. It's like my pencil is drawing extra dark and I don't know why. So we're gonna keep coloring this. Let me just go ahead and make it black. Nose. Eyelashes. So that's all we're going to do black for right now because we're going to put some hearts on it. Are you ready? Instead of like, we're going to make one flower. And this is just kind of what I do. And you're like, wow, that doesn't look like anything. It doesn't yet, but it will. So I just kind of go around. And if you wanna erase the ones that don't look like anything, you can. And then we're going to uh, add some hearts. And then another heart, because it's for Valentine's Day. Then right here, we're gonna add like a little leaf. Then we're gonna add another heart. And another one. 
and then we're gonna overlap it and then this part we erase because that one's in front whatever is in front you erase right And right here. And you gotta erase that part. Right here. And let's do one. All right, and now when we get done, we are going to color them, but uh, we're not done quite yet. One more. Okay, so I have some hearts there, and then we're going to finish the llama, okay? Bring some, a neck down like this, kind of bring it like this, but that's all it's going to be, and then we're going to add some hearts right here. Sorry guys for my stuffy nose. I don't feel bad, I just have a stuffy nose. Okay. Now, we are going to outline it and then start coloring. Okay, so now, what are we going to do? The flowers, let's see here. Let's see, this, I think we're going to do this color. And then right here, we're gonna do the same thing. Now, and we'll come back and come over this in just a second because I colored it in pencil because I wanted to make sure I knew which one it was. Now, this one. It's going to be purple. Again, you too. We are going to do some teal leaves. And we are going to do some red hearts. with black so we can go ahead and see it and then the flowers and 
this flower. And now we can finish. We are going to do a pink and a pink, a mint, I like the color mint, I think it's very, very, very pretty, okay, another mint, and you see how I'm just kind of like circling mine and not uh, coloring mine in? I actually like that look. I think it's very, very pretty. Another heart. You can go in and erase the uh, pencil lines if you want to, if it bothers you. I, uh, it doesn't truly bother me that bad, so I am okay leaving it. And last but not least, let's see. No red. And then in the middle, we can do some yellow. So let's go ahead and go over this. Remember, I did this because I did pencil and I didn't think anything else was going to go over it. But that just shows you mixed media is awesome and fun. Okay, so that's done. Now, I'm going to go over it. We are just about done. We're going to do our tan. Teachers, it's me again. I'm Alexa. Uh, Jason is back, so you do not have to turn. Here we go. You can just walk out the door and leave and have a wonderful week. Thank you. So we're going to color this brown. And then I have a lighter brown that we're going to do the other one. We are going to do pink, kind of right here, and just a little bit, not a lot, okay? Then we're going to color it, then we're going to be done, and then we made a llama. How do you guys feel about that? And I always show you guys, you guys don't have to color in the lines. If you color different directions, it's okay. The more you do it, the easier it's going to get for you. But everybody loves hand-drawn gifts. It makes them happy. And so if you ever decide you want to draw something, you can always give it to somebody you love or a friend, and they will absolutely appreciate a handmade gift. So we made a fun, heartfelt, happy Valentine's Day. I love you. Llama for your mama. <laughs> I just had to rhyme. Sorry, I had to rhyme. Once again, I'm sorry for my voice. I know it's a little crackly and I don't sound like myself, but uh, I assure you I'm okay. And here we go. We are almost done. So this way, I'm going to show you. I'm going to go two different directions because I wanted to show you. It still looks just as good. Okay. See that? Went two different directions. And how about that? It still looks good. Now, I'm just gonna kinda go a little darker, make it look like I have some fur on it. And then I'm gonna finish coloring it. Keep on coloring, yes I am. Keep on coloring the llama ma'am. All the kids always ask me why I sing so much. Well, I like to sing. I think it's fun. All right, our llama mama. Let's call her 
Betsy is done. Or Betty. Let's do Betty. I like Betty. And when you're done, you always sign it. There you go. So here is a llama, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you later.